Welcome back guys. Today we will discuss the code for the app. So I used uh, Nox.js uh, framework for view. So for our package JSON, uh, this uh, almost all of the packages here is uh, you will choose when building when you create the app I mean using the next command in the i will put the link for uh, the site for the nox.js the description so i just install this package the socket.io client for our socket.io connection to our api server so in the view.js uh, mainly it has the three parts the template for our HTML, the script for our JavaScript, and style tag for our CSS. But I don't have CSS code here. So it's okay. So first, in, we will discuss the script. So I brought the packages, IO and moment for our uh, conversion of time and date so in the head part uh, this head what you call this uh, this block of code uh, you will see in the this part of the chrome so it will display there so in the data part is these are the variables that we will use. So these are the life cycles of a page in Vue.js. So when the page is created, it will run this method: connect to server. So we only have three methods here. So in our connect to server method this variable will connect to our packet url which is an env file in our nox.js which is here so socket url this link which i deployed in my server in DigitalOcean. so we will discuss it later then this uh, functions or block of code here is for our socket uh, communication so when the server replied the word message uh, let's check in the api so this is the api so here when server emit meaning it will send this string with the data of this object in the all clients that that's what it means here then in our app if the client receive message then the data with zero or one so if zero it will turn on the bulb which is here in our static it's two two file image file on and off so it will if the if the data is zero, it will turn on. Uh, the button is where you click the the trigger. The message, uh, the text there will display turn on, and it uh, show the off bulb uh, image here. Then if the value is one, it will turn off. Uh, the text will be turned off and show the turn on. Uh, image this is from uh, the server the server send this <clears throat> so in this part msg which is from the manual manual button from our in our hardware so just the same 
if the data is zero to limit all clients the data zero so must be the same here yes it is the same but with just different uh this string so if the serve uh in this is dot created so when the page is created the client will emit logs to the server so when the server receives the signal or the string logs then it will query and return and it will return to the clients the logs the 10 items so when the client receives the word logs so it will display We'll store in this variable then all will display the data the id the triggered blue which is if using the app or the manual manual button then the date it is triggered so that's it for this method so the refresh logs is will just emit the logs this uh, method is when you click the refresh logs button above the table you just emit logs to the server then the server will return the logs to all clients so in the trigger led button if the button is if the text in the button is turned on it will emit one to the server so if the server received the one here so insert and emit to all clients so that all clients will turn on and vice versa if if it's not turned on meaning it's turned off so emit zero to the server then the server will emit to all clients zero so it, it will turn off then emit logs again so the table will be refreshed the table logs so that's for the methods so for the computed uh, these are just from the uh, the documentation in the page i will put it in the link so just to display uh, to be to have a dynamic display in our page so that's for the script let's go for the template Our template uh, is just a basic display. So this is for the image, which has an image source, uh, value of the variable image source. Here, the image here in, the, in our static folder. So when the button is clicked, it will run the method here, the triggered lead, so it will emit one or zero to our server. Then the text turn on or turn off. So our fill for our filters, just the refresh logs, so you emit bot uh, emit logs to our server. Dummy column, then dummy column. Uh, this is for the drop down. Or how many data we will display then in our table uh, this is from the view bootstrap template so the items to be displayed is from the filter items from our computed here Uh, you'll see the definition in the view bootstrap page so i will put the link there this is for our pagination so that's all for the app guys in the next part i will discuss the code in the arduino so see you guys there thank you